I would say semiconductor sector being the global business, there are several players worldwide and India is being looked into as one of the new frontier uh, for expansion of the manufacturing ecosystem, uh, building on to the various trends which India has, uh, notably the design uh, ecosystem which is quite active and vibrant, but almost 20% of the global design pool is done by the Indian engineering pool actually, plus the domestic market which itself is growing very fast, uh, domestic semiconductor demand is going to grow to $103 billion as per ISA report by 2030, and also access to the global markets, semiconductor being global business, India also enjoys a good reputation and a trustworthiness in terms of the manufacturing quality and other stuff. And the last but not the least, the favorable government policies, both from the central governments as well as the state governments. So things are beginning to look up very well. So I would not get much carried away by a news yes. item about what you just mentioned on TSMC, but we look forward to much more uh, additional opportunities and players who are likely to uh, set up the manufacturing activities, particularly yes. in India. Yes. Thank you for that, Ashok. And it's not all bad news, is it? We mentioned uh, just before we came to you how HCL and uh, the Foxconn Honhai JV plant uh, recently won cabinet approval. Clearly a step in the right direction. Is that something of a springboard or a model for future JV partnerships in advanced manufacturing and semiconductor plants? It's indeed very important. Uh, I would call a very important milestone considering global setup of Foxconn you know, as a very highly integrated electronics manufacturing giant, uh, globally number one particularly. Uh, but also we look at a couple of previous such announcements and projects, those have already started. For example, Tata started the FAB or foundry project along with PSMC uh, from uh, Taiwan as a technology collaborator. Micron setting up the ATMP facility. Then we have CG Power, which is uh, India's conglomerate Murugappa Group, supported by uh, Renaissance. It's another project. Uh, then there is a Keynes Technology. So there are a couple of uh, such joint ventures where, or the technology transfers where the global counterparts are actively showing interest in India. But most importantly, I would call the Indian conglomerates, the corporates, are showing high degree of interest to diversify into the semiconductor field, which is considered to be the foundation technology for anything we do. So yes, HCL Foxconn is a very important milestone, uh, but also there are other few which I just narrated, and many of you are aware you already shown the chart. So yes. this is all put together, builds multifaceted approach, and there are a few things here, number one, the Indian conglomerates, corporates are highly interested to diversify, get into this sector. The global IDMs like Micron, they have set up, so that's another first step actually. The global companies like Foxconn, and then there is a Renaissance and other stuff. And there are a few more, by the way. I mean, there are six projects, those are approved by central government. But in yes. addition, there are at least four to five more projects, those are approved by the various state governments. Uh, there is one in called RRP in Maharashtra state. Uh, there is RIR in Odisha state. We have Polymatech and others. Are, are there any of these clusters emerging that are starting to look like uh, India's uh, Silicon Valley? I would call, in terms of the, I mean, Bangalore was long time called as the Indian Silicon Valley, mainly because of the design pool and the design talent. And almost every global player had a design center, their captive design activities in Bangalore. But looking at a manufacturing perspective now particularly, uh, we definitely see state of Gujarat has already taken an early lead and multiple projects are announced over there and a lot of ecosystem buildup is happening over there, including the chemis, ch chemicals, the gases and minerals, what I just mentioned, materials and all those things. Plus, we also see a uh, possibility of uh, state of Uttar Pradesh, uh, which is pretty close to the capital of India, Delhi, because of the lot of electronics manufacturing is happening there. The smartphones, yes. the EMS players are also located and that's where you see the HCL Foxconn joint venture is announced in Uttar Pradesh close to uh, Delhi uh, as they make the display driver ICs and that's mainly consumed by the smartphones and other display devices, a lot of electronics manufacturing today. So these are the two things coming up. Uh, Assam is uh, showing popping up actually, mainly because of the Tata project and some of the other stuff. 
So the other two, three states which I see, those are showing uh, definitely a promise in addition to other states who are also showing interest. Yes. But definitely these are the three states I would call where uh, as of now, the activities have stepped up. The governments are very proactive, very forthcoming. They are also going global, meeting various global players and doing that uh, promotions and offering all the necessary support that is needed to such uh, make such high capex and a long gestation period operational. Ashok, where is India in terms of uh, building the ecosystem to support the AI stack and uh, AI developments and capacity and, and, and infrastructure? This is the fourth industrial revolution, and it doesn't come without the challenge, does it? Especially the provision of uh, energy. And these data centers are very energy intensive. Where is uh, India on that journey? So there are two facets to it. One is the uh, software development because of all those AI algorithm, LLM models and other stuff. So that development is happening at multi locations. Actually, there are several companies working on that. And that doesn't need a particular thing other than the access to the uh, servers and all those things. So the, there is a huge amount of AI development happening in the city of Bangalore, the Hyderabad, as well as towards the Noida Delhi side. So there are three areas where all these developments of algorithms is going on. And India is definitely putting a lot of emphasis and focus on developing these uh, large language models. Those are very important from the AI perspective. But in addition, uh, India, particularly supported by government of India, is already setting up the data servers and the data centers, which would be having access to this development community so there is already a program going on to set up those 10,000 units of GPUs deployment pretty soon. The RFP was already out and the deployment is in progress. And in addition, some of the companies like VVD and they are setting up the, they are doing the manufacturing of the data servers. Now installation of the data servers, obviously it is definitely power hungry topic. It's energy efficiency is definitely important. So there are a few states like in the city of Mumbai, there are already a chunk of our data centers. Those are already installed. Uh, considering the power availability and other stuff, including the green energy, I think the state of Odisha and also the Gujarat shows a lot of promise in terms of the availability of the green energy because of the solar energy uh, deployment is going in a very yes. high speed. So that's how it is progressing. And uh, uh, just to summarize, there are multiple ways India is playing onto this uh, AI domain. Um, one is the uh, supported by the uh, data center servers and the GPUs being installed yes. for development purpose. Several LLM models are being built. And verticals are also being targeted for applications.